uh, what is the difference between PEMF and shockwave therapy? Uh, Chris asks uh, on the Facebook page. Very good question. Difference between shockwave and PEMF. Shockwave is a therapy that is required in most states, in most cases, to be administered by a veterinarian. Uh, it is a device that basically goes into the area to stimulate blood flow into an area for the purpose of healing. Uh, shockwave machines are, in fact, when they say shock, they're not talking about electrical shock. They're talking about shock to the area, shock to the to the system. And so what they'll do is they'll use sound waves. They'll use compression, like a pumping compression cylinder type of thing that basically goes into the area and hits it. If you took your hand, you took your shoulder, and someone wrapped on your shoulder 50 times in varying strengths, to get blood flow to come to the area, that's what shockwave is doing. Shockwave has been shown to be very effective in specific indications over time. Some people like it, some people don't like it. We've had situations where a veterinarian will come in and they'll decide, I want to shockwave this horse. And when they're done with that and they're bringing uh, blood to the area by as a result of what they do, then we come in after and help prolong the blood flow and help enha further enhance the blood flow to the area as we go. MagnaWave, on the other hand, is not a compression device. In many situations with shockwave, sometimes they'll have to tranquilize the horse in order to do it so it's not in pain, so it doesn't cause pain or discomfort to the horse. With MagnaWave, what we're doing, both are producing massive amounts of energy that is absorbed in the body to help stimulate the area for improved blood flow with MagnaWave, improved oxygenation to the area, and then hopefully helping the area that's having a difficult time. MagnaWave is a magnetic field, so we produce a massive amount of energy with this uh, charge that's generated that penetrates all the way through. So when we, where you're shockwaving, you may sh be shockwaving right here to bring flow to the area. With MagnaWave, we're going through the entire area. It's penetrating the muscle, the soft tissue, the skin, the tendons, the, the uh, nerves. Everything is being nourished by this energy that's coming into the body. Passes right through the bone, so it, it stimulates the cellular activity in the bone. So we're doing everything in the area to to try to help it. You might equate it to uh, if you're going to if you have something on fire and you use a, a nozzle that's very sharp uh, bead of water coming out of it. Well, you got to move it all over. Whereas if you got a larger bead of water coming out like a flow like this, you cover more area more rapidly. And so that's kind of the difference between the MagnaWave and the shockwave therapy. Very good question. People ask that a lot. What is the difference between MagnaWave and shockwave or PEMF and shockwave? <clears throat> Two different modalities. They do sound the same. A lot of times you'll go into an area and someone will be using a shockwave and you'll hear it down the barn and it's pretty loud clicking sound like that. If ours was going that fast, you wouldn't hear it as much because that would be a lower signal, but you certainly would hear it with MagnaWave, and that's the clicking sound. And so some people early on would get confused. Oh, they're MagnaWaving, or oh, they're doing shockwave, or oh, that's a shockwave device. In fact, we had that with the FEI at one time. They said, well, because it's clicking and it's doing this, it's got to be shockwave, so we're going to put it with the shockwave devices as far as our regulation is concerned here in the FEI type of uh, surroundings. So that is the primary difference between the two. And... Um, and so you understand that that's the difference between magnetic PEMF therapy, magnet wave therapy, and the shockwave therapy.